Awesome. So that last one was a uh, epic, epic fail. Um, but uh, let's try this uh, again. Went on my iMac and uh, the sound just came on, uh, came out horrible. What up, Amy? What's going on? Uh, but what I want to do was, um, uh oh, wife is on uh, two. How's it going? Um, what I want to do was, and I'll be sharing this on my, my real estate page, uh, it's a little different from the Best of Evergreen San Jose show, but what I want to do was I wanted to uh, answer and make a video and you know, throw it on YouTube, but I thought why not uh, go live. Uh, beautiful sunset here, um, a little cloudy from these fires, the first time I can't see uh, the uh, view of downtown uh, at all but what i basically wanted to do is i wanted to go through the 10 most common home buyer questions and amy knows what i'm talking about but the most uh frequently asked questions instead of giving a very long epic video though although these are going to be very uh vague um i want to just go through them and give uh short one word uh kind of answers and these uh you know, depend on, on various factors, where you're at, uh, what county, what jurisdiction, but I thought, why not? Let's go through that. So I'm looking down at the same caption I threw uh, in here. And what is the first step in the home buying process? And bottom line, one word answer, uh, pre-approval. Um, that is so important. I can go on and on about why, but I'm going to leave that to you. You guys are smart individuals. You can ask Amy, uh, who's uh, down here, how that can save you guys so much time and headache and uh, really I think is the, the heart of the process and um, I, I want to skip through and try to keep this under about 120 uh, seconds so the answers each one you can do an entire video on them but I'm gonna keep them very vague and short because um, it's Friday we got to go do something with our lives um, but how long does it take to buy a home uh, I said this in the the last video that you know screwed up a bit but um, I think uh, a good number uh, so many factors Factors that vary but I'm gonna go and go with 30 to 45 days it can be done sooner it can be a lot longer but I'm gonna go ahead and throw that uh, number in there as uh, kind of a uh, um, you know to give you a general idea of how long the process could take uh, but so many factors that would, would vary on that but that would be mind uh, numero tres uh, what does a realtor do and how does he or she bring you uh, value yet uh, another one that can be uh, epic um, but you know the biggest uh, thing is uh, to introduce you to vendors uh, bankers uh, architects contractors uh, and most importantly save you money from running into uh, a lot of issues and uh, a lot of problems you can avi uh, avoid so uh, in short um, I would say they, they'll bring you value in many, many ways. Um, and, and one of the reasons of, of my story of why I went into this, um, if you guys uh, know me, I would say, period, they can bring you value and save you a lot of money and a lot of uh, costs and issues. Uh, they're the biggest move uh, of your life. So uh, let's see. Uh, number four, um, how much do you have to pay a, a realtor? Uh, as a home buyer i think this is one of the most important of these 10 and bottom line one word answer absolutely nothing i would say this is probably one of the biggest things that surprises uh people uh again i don't want to go into a lengthy uh explanation but essentially uh it'll make what up monica it'll make sense to you but um the seller is actually the one um you know for this case you're the uh, buyer and we're talking about the 10 most common home buying tips but um, the seller is actually the person who's gonna pay uh, the commission whether it be their own agent um, as well as the buyers uh, agent but in short um, absolutely nothing is what the um, buyer pays uh, a realtor the seller is actually gonna be paying uh, uh, the commission most uh, typically uh, number five What's your best advice for uh, first time home buyers? You know, I said this in the uh, last video that I had some uh, issues, but bottom line, one word is what I promised you um, and short answers. Um, but I think it would be trust the professionals. And it goes back to all those examples in my last video, Best of Evergreen San Jose Show, where uh, I gave you that 
CPA example is trusting those uh, professionals and that would be probably my greatest uh, advice and be humble enough to know that um, doesn't mean you're not a smart uh, individual but it's very important that we humble ourselves understand there's different languages other subjects have completely different uh, universes to them um, so putting your trust in them somebody you know like and trust can save you thousands and save you from uh, a lot of issues in the long run so that would be my number one advice is you know find somebody you like and put your whole faith uh, and trust in them um, and they can save you thousands through the home buying process uh, number six what kind of credit score do I need to have to buy a home um, you know this would do you know, we're in Santa Clara County homes are close to a million dollars so um, this would you know something you talk to a loan officer about they would vary depending on different products but if I had to throw a number in there I know 680 is a score for most banks right now uh, for FHA but I'm gonna go with 635 um, you know is enough where they can find you know a product for you uh, which leads us a good segue to number seven are there any special home buying programs that I should know about uh, hey, believe there's uh, several uh, from FHA to you know if you're a veteran VA loans to jumbo loans. Uh, there's always going to be products uh, out there, and every year they're going to uh, change. So uh, that's something that you know using a good realtor can introduce you to a lot of uh, bankers, which each bank is going to have their own um, array of products uh, that are available uh, for you. And uh, let's see, going on number eight, how much do I need for a down? payment you know in, a, in other states you know they, they might say three to five um, I think this would completely vary on the bank you know of the listing price um, as a rule of thumb I would say 10% um, but basically the better situation you're in the less down payment you're gonna have uh, to make and um, you know the the tougher financial situation um, that you're in the more they're going to require depending on other factors and their uh, products uh, as well so again the point of this video is to not go crazy long even though I can and try to keep it short because it's Friday you're gonna be scrolling through this the last thing you want to do is um, you know have a lengthy video um, but I'll, I'll go into detail maybe another video on YouTube that kind of breaks down situations uh, more what other fees are there besides uh, the down payment so uh, we mentioned for for sellers you know this this Q&A is kind of for more for buyers but we mentioned for sellers that you know, their biggest uh, closing cost is most likely going to be you know, the taking care of the commission uh, both agents you as a buyer uh, pay nothing but buyers will see much more closing costs you know that has to do with title companies um, and um, you know keeping an eye on those closing costs and insurance depending on what uh, you know, loan product you end up going with, um, you'll see much smaller, more minuscule costs, but uh, there are costs involved, you know, from inspections and so forth. Um, so uh, that should be, uh, give you an idea, um, and doing this in limited time, of uh, some of the few. What up, Kenny? I haven't seen Kenny since, uh, since high school. Um, last one, 10, so it's not, this is not a long uh, video. And when the hell did I get the keys? Um, and that would be at closing. Uh, very simple. To end this off, um, you'll be getting the keys, you know, at closing, and uh, you know, there's various, various situations if you're selling your home to what up, Kenny, to buy another um, home. I'm sorry about the Niners, by the way. <laughs> uh, to get another home, if you've got to sell your home, you want to use the profit from that to buy another home, might extend, you know, certain uh, situations. But uh, bottom line is you'll get those keys at closing costs, and there's various things you want to do, inspections and so forth. Oh, it's very cool of you, Kenny. I appreciate that, man. But um, sorry, guys. Keep it short. It's Friday. Enjoy it. Have a wonderful weekend. I just wanted to go over these frequently asked questions, and uh, instead of making a, a schnazzy YouTube video, why not utilize live? Uh, be safe out there. Get some rest. Hope you guys had an amazing, amazing uh, week. Uh, take care. Yeah, lots of rebuilding to do. <laughs> no, they'll be great. They're going to do fine. Cheers.